show you how you can convert your Canvas quizzes, classic or new, over into Mastery Connect. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go into your Mastery Tracker. If you don't have that enabled and it looks like a sad panda like this, you're gonna wanna make sure that you link your course to your um, course's curriculum map. Um, I have videos, I'll link them down in the description. Uh, you have to do that because your Mastery Tracker has to have the correct standards for your assessment to be linked to. So once you have that done, you can go over, over here and import Canvas quizzes. You want to make sure that your quiz is in your course. So if you need to go and grab those from your shared content or however um, you want to grab those quizzes, make sure they're in this Canvas course. I'm going to click Import Canvas Quizzes, and then I'm going to click See Available Quizzes. And that should show me I only have two, so that should show you all of the quizzes that you can convert. If the ones that you're looking to um, bump over are not here, go ahead and throw a tech ticket in and I will look at that. You can also email me and we can see what's going on. I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna convert as new. So it says 24 hours, um, usually it happens within minutes. So. Um, if it's taking a long time, just again, go ahead and let me know. That is actually going to be over in your assessments in your um, drafts. So right here, you can see the ones that just converted. I can also find these quizzes in Mastery Connect under assessments and drafts. So either way, um, you can see your quiz was converted as a draft. I'm gonna go back to my course and look at it over there. So under my assessments, um, this make sure that this is list view. Um, sometimes it likes to do group by standards. List view is just a lot cleaner. Um, so you can see right here, my formative, um, my math quiz, I'm going to click that edit button because what I have to do now is I have to link the standards. So right now, both of these questions are reading as no standard. Uh, you can also, before you do that, you can look to make sure the question converted the right way. You can test out the question right here. So that looks good, that answer is right, and I can go to the next one, and that looks good. If you need to change something, you can go to that edit button, and now you can edit the question right here and you can um, change the point values. Um, depending on if you're doing two drop down, you might wanna adjust those points um, down here for scoring. So that looks good. There's two ways to link um, standards. Uh, if both of these questions are the same standard, I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna click this and I'm going to add the standard right here. If this one is its own separate standard, I can make sure to have this clicked. I can come over here and link the standard right here. And then I'm gonna click this and I'm going to link a different standard. So, and you can see right here has the tag of the standard. So before you do anything, before you create your assessment, you can just double check to make sure that your question is reading the right standard. You can also adjust the um, difficulty, DOK, blooms, and language over here. So if you go to that edit pencil, you can change the description for the question that you just um, imported. You can also add um, new items or pull from your um, question banks. And you can also clone your questions right here if you want to if you really like a question and you're like oh I should have added two of those you don't have to go back and do that in the canvas quiz you can do it right here in mastery connect and before you go into create assessment this is very 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 important you want to make sure you go into your um, settings and change this to private to my district 
If you are just using Wiz for your personal class and not for a CFA and you're not putting it on the curriculum map, you can keep that as private to me. But if this is being used as a CFA, you want to make sure you do private to my district. You can also adjust your scoring here. And it's really hard when you only have one question for one standard. Um, it's a lot easier when you have two or three because these will just be different instead of this all being read, read as one. So I'm gonna go and create this. And now that's created, I'm gonna go back to my assessments and you can see, I don't remember which one. One of these is the um, quiz we just made. So now I have to go and I have to add this to our curriculum map. So I'm gonna go into mastery because right now this is only in my assessments from my course. So I'm gonna go into mastery connect. I'm gonna go back up to assessments up here and it's gonna be in my created and it's right here and I'm gonna drop down this add button and add to C map. If your map does not pop up here, um, two things could happen. One, you don't have access to create assessments on your curriculum map. Um, that's something that if you just email your content specialist, they'll, they can adjust those settings and we can make sure that you have access to the curriculum map or two, um, the quiz that you just made does not align to the standards of the curriculum map. And that could happen if in your mastery tracker, you don't have the curriculum map set up correctly. So when you're ready to add it, you can click that and add. And now that assessment is added in the map. And now any teacher who has access to this curriculum map in their Canvas course will be able to see the assessment. you want to let your teachers know, your other teachers, that, um, hey, I've added the assessment, go ahead and make sure that you sync curriculum map and your mastery tracker. Um, I'll show you that real quick. I'll also have another video, like a quick one, on how you can do that. If you're in your mastery tracker, you can come up here and go to curriculum map and then sync curriculum map. And that will now push that assessment to the, my curriculum map. Now, obviously, I'm the one who made it, so it's already here but for your other teachers, this would be how they can have access to that. So that's how you can convert Canvas quizzes over to Mastery Connect. I'm gonna make another video on how you can add your own item questions in Mastery Connect and how you can do a document-based assessment. So make sure you stay tuned for more.